Hey everyone, this is going to be a short introduction video on uh, the following topics PCM captures, uh, packet captures, and the DS0 dump for iOS gateways, Cisco iOS gateways. Uh, so, this is going to be a quick video that takes you through configuration of these three features on the iOS gateway because it's it's a pretty common configuration that we've seen in customer setup uh, we've had customers do this on lots of cases each of them has their uh, significance uh, each of these tools has their significance and it's it's really handy if you know how to uh, configure them and you know it, it really makes the resolution of the issue much quicker so um, the first feature that we're talking about is the PCM captures so um, these are captures that are going to be taken on analog or digital uh, you know interfaces on the router like PRI, BRI, uh, FXO okay so <coughs> what, what the PCM captures do is they capture the sounds that are coming in from the telco as well as going out to the telco so you'll see three streams that are usually generated from the PCM captures the S in, R in and the S out so the S in is basically the sounds coming in from the telco before they get processed by the DSP on the Cisco router. The S out are those same sounds coming in from the telco but this is after being processed by the DSP on the Cisco router. And the RN is the sounds that are being sent from the IP side to the analog or digital interface side of the uh, Cisco router. So basically whatever sounds are coming from an IP phone for example and are going to the telco, those sounds will be recorded in the RN. Now, the PCM captures um, are really useful in helping us find out uh, where the issue would lie when you have something like a voice quality problem uh, on a PRI. It, will, it also helps us do uh, FXO call disconnect issue uh, troubleshooting and also caller ID troubleshooting. So by capturing the signals coming in on the line, we can actually tell whether there was some caller ID coming in or whether there was noise coming in from the telco itself or if the noise was added after the DSP. So that's what makes the PCM captures really useful. The catch to the PCM captures, however, is that it's an internal tool. Uh, sorry, the decoder is an internal tool. So once you take the PCM captures, you'll have to open a tag case and upload the .dat file to the TAC case so that the TAC engineer can then decode them and give you these three files and then you know help you resolve the or isolate you know where the problem could be where the root cause of the problem is so that's the only catch with the PCM captures now let's go ahead and you know start configuring uh, the PCM captures and see how that goes so um, the, there's a good document on cisco.com uh, this is the document I'll include the links for the documents uh, along with the video so this document actually captures pa packet captures PCM captures as well as packet captures on the phone all in one document so it's pretty useful pretty handy it's good to bookmark um, so let's go to the PCM capture on the IS gateway section so right off the bat you will see that there are two sections here one is for Cisco iOS releases earlier than 15.2 and the second is for Cisco iOS releases 15.2 and later. So the iOS releases before 15.2 were using the HPI command while the ones after were using the PCM command. So both of these do the same thing but they work in different ways internally. Okay. Um, so the configuration here is pretty much what you need to put in on the uh, on the gateway to start the capture so I've got my two phones connected to the call manager setup here and they are going when when one calls the other it's going to go via a PRI line and come back to the second phone so let me go ahead and uh, you know make a call right now okay so let me go ahead new call okay I call the other side and I answer the call and now my call is established and I have uh, two-way audio you may not be able to hear anything because uh, I've got your phones on so let's go to the gateway 
and do a show voice call status and there we can see that uh, the call is coming in on the PRI line it's a T1 PRI uh, on uh, port 001 so you can do show ISDN status and you can see that you know it's a PRI with all the layers up uh, so the important thing here is you can see that if the call is coming in on 001 colon 23 and the 10th channel now this is what you have to keep in mind okay uh, let's come here so we've got an iOS version which is greater than 15.2 let me do a show version and you can see it's 15.4 so I can go ahead and do voice BCM capture destination slash test PCM dot test okay 200,000 is the limit and I'm gonna put it at that limit now I've set up the basic PCM capture now I need to start it so use to start the capture you use the the test voice port command or you can also tag it to a dial peer so I'm gonna go ahead and manually start the capture. So test voice port zero zero one colon twenty three. So this is what we saw earlier in the show voice call status command. Okay, then do a question mark. You'll see that there's a PCM dump uh, option. So PCM dump cap log and F F F F F F. So you put seven F's, F's and you will get uh, the S in, R in, and the S out. So that's the recommended setting. Okay, and then you get the output that uh, the PCM capture has started. So you can monitor the, the the PCM capture by using the show voice PCM capture command. Okay and then you can see here that the PCM capture is on it's logging to test PCM dot that and no messages have been dropped so all the messages are being sent to PCM dot that and if you're using HPI capture it'll be show voice HPI capture that's it okay so now I can go ahead and disable the capture okay all right so the, the PCM capture is stopped and I'll end my call. Alright, so the call's ended and we can now go to the flash and do a test PCM. Show flash section test PCM and the router should spit out the uh, that file. So there, there we go. So that's the DAT file that was created and uh, you can see that it's got the calling number and the call number as well so that information is also there which is pretty good al along with the timestamp so this was a new feature introduced in the voice PCM command unfortunately the voice HPI command doesn't have that okay so now you can just copy this file out using copy flash TFTP or copy flash FTP using a client like TFTP D32 and uh, move it from your router to your PC and then you can send this over uh, to the TAC engineer and the TAC engineer can decode that and you know give you the results alright so that's the PCM capture now let's take a look at the second thing that we're gonna look at so that's uh, packet captures so packet captures are of two types uh, one is the embedded type and the second one is IP traffic export you can use either one of these uh, to take the packet capture and again we, we can come back to this uh, this page here and we can see that you know the packet capture and iOS gateways there is a section especially there for that and you can see packet capture with IP export and embedded packet capture so both uh, methods are here and you know they give you quick commands here that you can easily copy edit and you can apply it to your router so let's go ahead and try this uh, packet capture quickly so I'm gonna go ahead and do the IP traffic export uh, the embedded packet capture is pretty much the same thing the uh, the commands are right there 
as to how you create the uh, monitor capture buffer, monitor capture point. You associate them and then you start start and stop the capture after you reproduce the problem. So I'm not going to go ahead with uh, the demonstration of this, but I'll go ahead and show how the IP traffic export looks like. So let's go back to our router, okay? And uh, so we don't need a call to be running for this. Uh, we can just go ahead and do a capture or just like that. So show IP in brief. Let's see. So I've got gig zero zero here. All right. So IP traffic export profile. Let's give that a name. Test capture mode. It mode. It's going to be a capture. Okay. And inside, we're just going to put bidirectional because we want the capture to be done in both directions, both going out of the router interface as well as coming into the router interface. Then we navigate to the interface gig 00, zero that's where we want to apply the capture. So IP traffic export, apply the name of the profile. So it was test capture and then we specify the size. The size here is in bytes. So if I want to capture 5 MB of traffic or if I want to create a buffer for 5 MB of traffic, I will do 5 million. I'll put 5 million here. If I want 10 uh, MB, it's going to be 10 million. So let's set it to 5 million and uh, exit and come back to the enable mode. So now the next step is to start the capture. So starting the capture is pretty simple. Traffic export, interface. Uh, it'll ask you to specify which interface. So you do gig 00. zero and then you first clear it just to make sure that if that if there was something in the buffer you're just clearing it and then you do a start all right so now the uh, packet capture has started okay let's just do one quick call we'll just give it a missed call so that you know we can see the traffic and we can go ahead and stop so you reproduce the problem and then you stop it okay and then you have to so right now all of the packets are in the buffer so now you have to export it out of the buffer using the copy command so copy flash test capture dot cap okay all right so there we go 16 kb that's pretty less but that's okay we didn't have much traffic now uh, I'd like to show you the packet capture so I'm gonna go ahead and start the FTPD 32 okay my PC yeah okay let me put that on the desktop all right now let's do a copy flash test capture dot cap TFTP so Alright, so the file is copied. So test out. Okay, so there we can see, and we'll be able to see the packets here. So let, for example, see SIP, and we can see that there was a call here to uh, 5506. So that was the call that I made, and this is our interface where we did the capture. So it's pretty simple, it's quick. And uh, if your test is small, then you can, you know, quickly just configure it and take the captures out and uh, refer to them. All right. So the, that covers the uh, IP traffic type of capture. The embedded capture, again, is covered in this document right here. And uh, it's not very different. It's basically creating a buffer where you specify the size and the max size of every uh, packet and then you create a monitor capture point which you will associate with your interface then you need to associate this capture point with the buffer so that's what you do here in this command and then you just start the capture point you do your test and then you stop the capture point and you export the capture buffer so that's pretty much how you do the embedded capture all right and the next feature that we're going to talk about is the DS0 dump. Now, 
remember the catch that I told you about the PCM capsules that the decoder is internal. So you need to open a tag case. You need the tag engineer to decode the file and send that over to you, right? Now with the DS0 dump, you don't need to uh, send the file over to tag. So the DS0 dump basically records the sounds and converts them into a raw file and stores them on the flash. And all you need to do is to go ahead, pull that out of the flash and use a program like Audacity to import that raw file and you can listen to the audio yourself. So uh, let's go ahead and see how that's done. So for the DS0 dump, there is a second document. I will put this uh, document's link as well along with the video. And uh, so you can see here PCM data analysis without Cisco internal decode. So here are the steps to configure this. It's As you can see, it's just easy to just walk through all these steps. And uh, it, it even shows what uh, kind of debugs are output when you do the call and when the PCM sorry, when the DS0 dump starts. And uh, you should receive, or you should see these kinds of files on your flash, which you then import and take a look at in Audacity. So let's go ahead and see how this is done, all right? Now, for that, uh, I will need to do the call again, but let's first, yeah, set up the call. Let me first delete my existing that okay all right now let me down this okay so now I've got a connected call okay so you can see there that there's a call running in on the PRI on channel number 10 okay now let's come back here and walk through this So the first thing we need to do is create the monitor PCM tracer. Okay, so we enable that. Then we create a profile. And we associate that to a particular interface. In this case, it's a TDM T1 interface. In the example shown in the document, it's an E1 interface. So if you do a question mark, you're going to see whatever is available on the router. So if you have a T1 available on the router, you're going to see T1. Otherwise, it's going to be E1. And uh, if you've got only FXO or FXS ports, you're going to see analog voice port and BRI voice port if you've got only BRI. So capture TDM T1 because we've made a call on the T1 PRI. Okay. 0, 0, 1 and which channel are we using? We're using channel 10. So we hit that. Okay. And the next one, the next command is to basically set the duration. So monitor capture duration. Let's uh, put one minute. Okay then we need to specify where it's going to get stored okay i want to store it in flash let me name it test ds0 okay the next one is uh, you know you can give it a delayed start do you want to do you want it to start 10 seconds after running the start command okay because that will give you the time to do the test call. If you give a delay of 60 seconds, you have 60 seconds to do the call uh, before the packet capture starts. Sorry, before the DS0 dump starts. So. so since I've already got the call up, I'm just going to put a delayed start of one second. And then you enable debug PCM trace. For this, you need to be in the uh, enable mode. Oh, sorry. 
okay please start all right so then we can start that up and now you'll see that it's starting and because I put a delayed timer of just one second it will definitely started by now so we can do a show log and as you can see here you can see this line that the PCM capture started now I put one minute of capture so we are looking this for to this to stop at 57.151 let's see what happens Sorry, it was not 57.151, it should be 46, 56.151. So we've crossed that time. So let's take a look. And you can see that, uh, yeah, that's where it was started. And then it started to copy the file and it completed the copy. Okay, so now let's go to the flash and look for S D S alright so there we go so we've got two streams here of around uh, 480 KB each okay let's copy them out I have my trusty TFTP 32 here Okay, the first file is done. All right, second one's done. So, if you come back to the page, the next thing that it says is open the Odyssey application. So, that. All right. So you then go to File, Import raw data let's go to the desktop test so there we go let's click that and at this point it will give us this small window that uh, gives us some parameters based on which we can import the audio so we come back to the page you can see u law for t1 and a law for e1 so let's change that u law because we were using t1 Big Indian, one channel mono. That's fine. And a sample rate of 8000. Import. So there we go. So I'm able to hear my voice right now on this, and it's pretty clear. So this is basically how you can analyze the sounds that are coming in from the telco or going out to the telco so you basically uh, import both raw files so you go back again import you raw or import the raw data you put test and you fill in the same parameters you go to ulaw big indian uh, 8000 and that's it so you've got your TX stream here and you've got your RX stream so RX is basically coming in on the line and TX is going out to the line and this basically circumvents the requirement for that internal tool 
the internal tool still has the S in and the S out which is basically used to find out if there could be something wrong with the DSP but in cases where you have voice quality issues you could go ahead and quickly do a DS0 capture on your router and you can see if that audio quality issue is actually coming in from the telco if it is then you can directly open a case with the telco and you can show this as proof that you know the audio quality is bad when it's coming in uh, from the telco line apart from this you can also use uh, this to troubleshoot your FXO disconnect and your FXO caller ID uh, issues as well that I will cover in a different video uh, this was just to talk about these features so that is the third and final feature that I was uh, covering here so just to recap we talked about the PCM captures we talked about the packet captures embedded and IP traffic export and we talked about the DS0 dump which is very useful because you do not need an you don't you don't need to open a tag case to decode the sounds coming in on the line on an analog or a digital line you can just go ahead and record it and uh, analyze it yourself so that brings uh, us to the end of this session. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope it was informative. And uh, thanks a lot for uh, watching. Bye.